How I survived COVID-19 by Nigeria's entertainment business guru Akinwale Oluwale Emu. My name is Akinwale Oluwalemu, and if you still don't believe the coronavirus exists, and you know me, I am a living witness. And here is my testimony. In the beginning, on June 24, 2020, I felt a little feverish, but since I do not regularly fall ill, I didn't think much of it. Yet, I went to the neighborhood pharmacy, where I requested for any malaria medication. The pharmacist I got Coten and Ibuprofen. I was on that and after three days, thought it should be over. But that wasn't to be, as I still felt feverish and now very weak in the body. On Sunday, June 28, 2020, I noticed I couldn't smell my perfume, deodorant, and body spray at that point. I knew something was seriously wrong. Fever, cough, loss of smell, loss of taste, body pains, and weakness of the body all came together that evening. I quickly did a Google on all the symptoms I could feel, and the only thing that came out consistently was COVID-19. As I was home alone, it was easy for me to isolate myself first as I didn't want to infect anybody else importantly. The next morning, I needed to confirm my suspicion, so I visited my private hospital, the Lagoon Hospital, Ikeja. I tried my best to keep away from people and was fully geared up in face and nose marks. Lagoon had been my private hospital for years. In fact, we had our 11-year-old daughter, Edidiolu Wadie, and I must have spent close to half a million naira on one treatment at the same hospital just a year earlier. This time, however, I was terribly disappointed in their service and patient care. A young doctor attended to me and immediately I told him my fears. All I could read in his countenance was the quickest way to get rid of me. I asked if he had any information as regards where I can get tested, get care or any useful information. But all he kept saying was, go to NIMR, Yaba. I had never heard that and didn't know how to proceed. Again, Google to the rescue. Ikeja local government area office was the nearest COVID-19 test center, so off I went. Getting to Ikeja local government area office, a gentleman simply called Sheriff took it upon himself to put me through what I can do and started making calls to the Ikeja COVID unit. He also mentioned that Lagoon Hospital had his direct details and that even their MD knew him personally. He expressed his shock that they didn't properly direct me or contact them. Till this day, I am still to receive a follow-up call from my hospital, first call doctors, to know if I survived and how I was fearing. <laughs> I have heard so much about having family, but my first truthful family love was shown during this period. I guess no matter how bad you are, family don't want you to die. This is to say a very big thank you to my family, my sisters, Abimbola Oluwaleemu Brown, Temitokwe Oluwaleemu Alonge. Abimbola is a health worker in the US. Thank you both for always checking up on me. 
and Temitokwe, wife to Professor Temitokwe Alonge, Ed Director, COVID-19 for your state. Special thanks to Professor Alonge, who still created time to attend to me daily, even with his tight schedule, attending to all the COVID-19 patients in Oyo State. I appreciate sir. I can today Oluwale Imu and wife. Tolulokwe, you guys rock. I dare not switch off my phone because I am sure you will be checking in and won't be happy if the phone was off. Akiwomi, Oluwale Imu and wife for liking me. Called every morning and night to find out if I had used my drugs and how I felt. Akiola Oluwale Imu, your chat screenshot attached, my leg man. Apart from calling me regularly to check on my state, they asked with Professor Alonge to get the right drugs and search different stores. Can you believe vitamin D and zinc has not been found in any store till now? Olurebi Olulexi, Oluremi Oluwale Imu. For looking out for me, especially as regards my ab medications and my vitamin D, make sure you take Dongoyaru for the fever, ginger, garlic, and green lemon paste. Rub in steaming water. Thanks. Most marvelously, my two daughters, Edi Jolua and Iri Feolua, I made sure they were not told I had COVID-19. But in the course of our conversation on the phone, during one of our numerous calls, the holder one says to me, Daddy, are you sure you don't have COVID-19? And from the background, I could hear the younger one saying, My daddy can never have COVID-19 in Jesus' name. They both made sure they called every morning and night just to find out how i was feeling and if i was eating daughters are the best other family members that checked on me too god bless you all the family values i got during the period truly helped me physically and emotionally thanks to you oluwa shown for me oshofison and wife happy mommy oshofison ladipo dirisu Uncle Seni and wife, Linda, Momsi Alaja, God bless you all. My friends too, Kayo the Badejo, Eme Inem, Abosa de Olivarez, Captain Demola, Dele Olukoju, and my staff, especially Shola, Tomiwa, Oyiko, and Uchi. Thanks guys, I really do appreciate it. Woke up every morning to 1000 mg, X2 daily or vitamin C daily, long rich cordyceps militaries and black ginger, long rich berry oil, vitamin D 1000 IU X2 daily, panadol or ibuprofen for pains and fevers, azithromycin 500 mg daily, hydrochloroquine 400 mg daily anti pril for HBP all for five days. Boiled Dongoyari water, rub steaming, warm ginger, garlic, lemon and honey drink, bitter cola and lots of rest and sleep. Did this judiciously daily and felt really better. Thank you God by your stripes I am healed. Please note, everyone has a different body system. So what works for me might not work for you. I tried doing a test from Monday, June 29. I was at the Ikeja local government area unit, but was told by Mr. Sheriff that I should drop my details and that someone would reach out to me in 24 hours. But of course, no one did. On Wednesday, July 1, 
The same Mr. Sherry said I should try the Akumwajo Primary School unit. I got there by 8.30 a.m. on the third day, but no NCDC staff showed up till 11 a.m. And over 40 people waiting in line had to stay and watch them patiently as they set up. Being the first on the list, I was done by 12.30 p.m. and was told that results would be sent in 72 hours with no warnings precautions or advice it's one week and i still don't have a result i would like to imagine that if i was not educated or knew my way around and had friends and family who had links to covid history and treatment i would have infected everyone in my neighborhood or probably ended up dead we as a nation are not ready to move forward we are quick to blame the government for everything, but have we asked ourselves if we have done our own little part? My doctor that doesn't even care what happened to me, although it was my first call for my health issue. If I am not paying them the money, why should they care if I died or not? The NCDC staff wouldn't see any reason to be at ease or a unit early enough to help the people who think they might be carriers of the infection and need urgent tests advice and if possible medicine so has not to die or infect someone else people are dying just because some people are negligent but the same people would complain about bad roads and epileptic power supply no light appealing governance do you deserve the good things of life when you refuse to do the little assigned to you to make the world go round check yourself before you call others out for not doing a good job